I be from Jamaica, man. What part of Jamaica? Right near the beach, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it every time. We got an article coming to us from Fox News. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a woke off. That's right. It's a woke off. I don't know. I feel like, uh, what's his name? Um, Billy Zane in Zoolander when they had their walk off. It's a woke off, people. It's a woke off. Ocasio Cortez gets new 2020 challenger. A Republican immigrant from Jamaica, which is the reference, by Alex Pappas. Now, <laughs> I can't, the, the, the music is playing them. When you put in the um, quarter in a video game and it goes like, you have a new challenger. Somebody's entered the ring. Republican Sherry Murray is launching a campaign Wednesday for the New York congressional seat held by Democratic rep Alexandria, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Okay, Miss Sherry right there. Nice picture. Sherry Murray, a former businesswoman who immigrated from Jamaica as a child and is active in state Republican politics, is launching a campaign Wednesday for the congressional seat held by Democratic Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Fox News has learned. And this is so funny because it puts, like, yo, like, oh, really? I'm a woman of color, too. I'm a POC. <laughs> Oh, the first thing the first thing you do is nullify the arguments against you. You know, like one of the she's like, oh, really? I'm like any almost she's an immigrant as well. She's actually an immigrant. She's not um apparent, clearly not American born. So she's actually an immigrant. This is going to be funny. Oh, in a phone interview, Murray, 38, confirmed her intention to run for the New York congressional seat as a Republican. I'm surprised they didn't say Republican woman. My whammons. They couldn't send a they couldn't send a white dude after. They couldn't send any kind of dude after. They had to send a woman, a a, a darker woman of color, a walk. There's a crisis in Queens, and it's called AOC, Murray told Fox News. And instead of focusing on us, she's focusing on being famous, mainly rolling back progress and of authoring the job-killing Green New Deal and killing the Amazon New York deal. Both fair arguments. Murray, who was born in Jamaica and moved to the United States when she was nine, is officially launching her campaign Wednesday with an introductory, introductory video that takes sharp jabs at the 29-year-old Ocasio-Cortez. Your representative in Washington chooses self-promotion over service, conflict over constituents, resistance over assistance. Murray said in the video, Queens and the Bronx need someone who create jobs instead of turning them away. Asked about Ocasio-Cortez's brand of democratic socialism, Murray said, I think it's far, far to the left and it's not connecting with everyday Americans. As for Medicare for All, which Ocasio-Cortez has embraced, the Republican said, Medicare for All? I think a lot of people are happy with their current health insurance. Okay, yeah, darling. All right. I mean, I'm sure some are. I think the word a lot is a... Uh, is a little bit of a stretch. And on the Green New Deal, the left wing proposal to address climate change pushed by Ocasio Cortez, she said, We know that it will certainly kill, it certainly will kill jobs. And here's my big problem with AOC is that her, um, her chief of staff, Chakra Chabardi, he came out and said that it's not about the climate change. It's about changing um, America's economic system, which, no, that, like, no one should be signing up for that. that that's false advertising at its best. Murray joins four other Republicans who have filed to run for the seat. Former police officer John Cummings, medical journalist Ruth Papazina, construction contractor Miguel Hernandez, and entrepreneur Antoine Tucker, but I can guarantee you they're not all a brown uh, POC woman of color immigrant that uh, <laughs> Miss Murray is, which is why she's the one catching the Fox News headline, make no mistakes. No Democrats have yet announced it's a primary challenge to Ocasio-Cortez, though there's been speculation that establishment Democrats could rally behind a primary challenger. Ocasio-Cortez shocked the political world in 2018 by defeating longtime rep Joe Crowley in the Democratic primary, which Tim Pool keeps calling... Um, like uh exploitative but it's not it's a part of the game like it's like primary every year there are primaries every year there are generals whichever republican candidates emerges from the primary field will face a steep uphill climb in the overwhelmingly democratic district but murray and others are looking to paint ocasio cortez as more of a celebrity than a lawmaker while stressing their ability to work across party lines
Murray's new campaign video, which doesn't mention President Trump or the Republican Party, portrays Murray as a bridge builder. She is a former state committee woman of the New York State Republican Party. Asked during the interview if she considers herself a Trump supporter, she said yes. She said she is in the process of talking with national Republicans about her campaign, including South Carolina Tim Scott, a prominent black Republican in Congress. She expressed disgust over the recent spat between Trump and Ocasio-Cortez and her allies. Trump's ha Trump has taken heat for telling Ocasio-Cortez and other minority progressives to go back to where they came from. That wasn't directed out. Uh, that wasn't he directed it at all four of them, but we know that they were talking about Omar, but Omar isn't the focus of this uh, article, so they're keeping it on AOC. <clears throat> to where they came from, provoking accusations from Democrats that Trump's comments are racist when they clearly are not. It is, does not speak of the superiority or inferiority of any race or people, so they are not racist. I think it's disgusting, to be quite honest, Murray said of the controversy without specif specifying which part of it disgusts her. I think we are missing the point of why we're elected to public office, to legislate on policy, to deliver results to those kitchen table issues that are affecting everyday Americans. So where's your policy, Ms. Uh, Murray? All right. Like, pull out some policy. That's, that's been my big problem as someone who works in urban campaigns. People are more focused on image than policy. And it's not just AOC. Like, this this is all over the place. They are much more focused on, you know, how they look as opposed to what can actually get done and what they can do to make the make things happen. Murray later clarified her thoughts on the back and forth, saying of Trump's tweets, is that how I would have worded it? No. Do I think the president is a racist? No, she added, but I want to get back to the core of why we're talking about this. There's a crisis at our border. Murray, who grew up in Southeast Queens and worked for the city's Jamaican bus depot as a teenager, founded a television production and advertising company called the Esmil Group in 2004. She said her business generated employment for minorities in New York City. She said she no longer works for the company, is now a full-time mother. Nice. Raise those kids. The GOP primary will take place in June 2020. How old are your kids, though? I mean, your kids might still need you. <laughs> Winning a general election in New York's 14th Congressional District would be a long shot for any Republican. In 2018, Ocasio's GOP opponent, Anthony Pappas, won just 14% of the vote. Anthony Pappas, is that any relation to the guy that wrote this article? But Murray still insists a Republican could win, even in a Democrat-controlled district, because of this uh, dissatisfaction with Ocasio-Cortez. A Republican can win the district, she said. There is an absolute path to victory when you look at the general election campaign well you know i wish her all the luck this is apparently aoc talking about something that video right there but you know all the luck this is certainly you know let's check out our video check out our video right quick bridges, bridges. see that polish they fill our skyline Ooh. rising above our city their arches are more than stone and steel they connect us, they help us move forward and cross from place to place. That's why we build bridges. I don't know, this feels a little uh, too clean, too polished, and like she already has a ton of money behind her. To be connected to one another. I'm Cherie Murray. I was nine years old when I came to America with my family. Why does she... Re oh, who's this? It's not Angela Bassett. It's a little bit of Angela Bassett. But there's another actress that she's reminding me of right now. I can... Uh, is it Angela Bassett? I'm not sure. We migrated from Jamaica. From my first job working as an intern at the New York City MTA Jamaica Bus Depot to attending City University then opening a business and helping minority men and women find employment in the media, to becoming a mother and a community leader, I've been building bridges and crossing them my whole life. I've built- Yeah, this feels way, like... <laughs> oh my goodness. This, this, is, uh, this is coming off as a bit contrived. I mean, to me, I'm, I'm not in her district. I ain't got to vote for it, but this is coming off as a teensy wit contrived. Built bridges between constituents in our community and elected officials that represent them. Between different nationalities and races and between political parties. Lawmakers should be working together to build a stronger, safer, more... Pro I hate that background music. That background music is killing me because it's like it. You do realize that's a way that's a manipulation tactic, right? 
when they um, play that hopeful and triumphant music is why I listen to that type of shit when I work out because <laughs> it's like oh man it really makes you feel all warm and like you're ready like honestly guys in my workout I've been um the song the music the um orchestrals from Endgame particularly when the portals open oh man I just dun, 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 dun. it really gets me going in my run man I'm not even kidding so I'm pointing that out and it's really distracting because I I don't doubt that she's a nice lady and all but I mean we, I want to start hearing things about policies and you know like poverty rates and things like that more than I want to hear about and, and this is just her first advert but it's just coming across as just nothing but corporate pandering and same old same old nonsense prosperous America but your representative in Washington chooses self-promotion over service, conflict over constituents, resistance over assistance. Queens and the Bronx need someone who will create jobs instead of turning them away. Someone to unite the fight in Washington and help you build a bridge to a better future for yourself instead of pushing for a pay raise for herself. You deserve... Damn, AOC sucks. I mean, very true, but at the same time, I've, one of the things I've been thinking about a lot is like, yo, they're all actors, man. They're all actors. I don't think, I, I'm, I, I don't know this woman from a can of beans, but I can't help but feel like she was more picked the same way that AOC was picked, and they're there running their scripts and doing, and I don't want to sit here and say she ain't connected to her folk or anything else like that, to the people she wants to represent. Because they don't want to eventually got to vote for. But what I am saying, particularly just through my first impression, is that, I mean, I don't know. I don't believe in replacing bad with bad. I'll put it to you like that. You deserve someone fighting for you, not fighting for the limelight. You deserve someone who will focus on immigration, infrastructure, and education. That's why I'm running for Congress. I believe bridges are about connecting us, bringing people together, and getting us to where we need to go. Join me. Let's unite the fight and build new bridges together. Bridges that will unite us and take us. Okay, so what money is behind her? Honestly, it's like people of the Bronx and Queens, find out what money is behind her before, you know, committing to anything. Because there's clearly cash here. I can tell you that much. I, it's, it, like it's it's emanating. Do you not smell it coming off of the uh, coming off of the ad? To a brighter future for the next generation. I'm Sheree Murray, and I approve this message. Alfre Woodard. That's the actress that should, that reminds me of her. Alfre Woodard. Alfre Woodard and Luke Cage. That's who I'm reminding. It wasn't Angela Bassett. It was Afri freaking Woodard. Okay. Because I'm sitting there looking at her talk. And she, I'm like, yo, she rem like the face reminds me so much of Afri Woodard and Luke Cage. People of the South, I'm sure this Unite the Fight, Sheree Murray.com. And I'm pretty sure I pay for it by the committee to elect Sheree Murray to Congress. Whatever. You know, they have all these different shell games that they can do. But the one thing that I am going to recommend to the people of the South Bronx is find out exactly. And, and it's not just her. It's AOC as well. Because we know who back in AOC. that She got that TYT, uh, Justice Dems, Democratic Socialists of America type money and shit behind her. Find out who back in this lady. And, you know, make the choice that you feel is best for yourself and your community. All right? Like... One of the things that really irritates me the most is how Facebook is like, oh, well, you know, we're not going to um, we're, we're going to ban ads that encourage people to not vote. Not voting is on the table. OK, it's an option. It's a part of your options as an American citizen. You have the right to not vote. The fuck? I hate when people do that shit. It's in, like, <laughs> no, uh, you have to vote for my person. You have to vote for my person. You can sit your ass at home if you want, because guess what? You If you want to go to a strip club the entire the entire polling the entire day of polling of, of the the election day while everybody else is at the polls if you want to just go to a strip club and look at booty all day guess what you are american that is your right to do it damn it 
So, nah, I don't play that. Oh, no, you can't encourage people not to vote. If, if the people that are offering you something or, or are claiming to offer you something don't strike you as somebody that you really care for, nah, you ain't got to vote at all. Like, that pisses me off. It really does. Like, because, like, all these, like, the, like, people fought for the right for us to vote, right? And this gets used in the black community all day. Oh, man, you know, you know how many people died for your right to vote? No, they died for our right to choose. All right, plain and simple for us to have for the option to be on the table. But as far as what we're presented when it comes to choices, nah, man, you ain't got to vote for no sucker that, that that you don't like or you or you don't think represents you. And that is one of the most sickening things that happens in American um, politics because it's just, oh, you, well, you have to vote. You have to vote. Oh, we're angry at you for not voting. Brr, 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 brr. Man, yo, fuck off, man. You did what you whatever you wanted to do that day. And if it didn't, if, if none of the candidates appealed to you, nobody talked to you, no one compelled you to go and pull the lever for them, then F them. For real. That being said, we're going to bring this video to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss a like or a dislike. I'm not scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get more interesting videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube's definitely not going to do it. And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Is this lady, the, like, this is just first impressions because I don't know, we don't know this woman from a hole in the wall, you know? But maybe, just maybe, she might be um, better for um, NYC. Maybe, just maybe, she might not even be able to win her own primary. You got to get through that first. Like, she, she, she jumping the gun. You got to get through all those other Republicans that's rocking first. But she's made it very clear who she's going after. So you got to respect that as well. That being said, till the next one guys.